Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you OpenAIM Credential Provider. I will describe uh, what is it used for and uh, show how to use uh, this product. And uh, to begin with, I would like to show you a small picture and uh, we'll describe the general idea. OpenAIM is IDM solution and it allows you to keep a single identity inside your organization. So, for example, uh, organization contains a lot of different managed systems so end users have uh, different accounts inside Active Directory, Azure ID, Office 365, Linux machines, Oracle databases and so on so on. So uh, uh, OpenAM can, can store just single identity and to link all these uh, identities inside that managed systems. So it will synchronize data and it will uh, store uh, as a single identity and allow you to uh, allow you to uh, do a single sign-on uh, to that uh, target systems. Uh, so uh, what happens when end user wants to reset a password? So uh, this user needs to open a browser and go to unlock or, or reset password page of OpenAM. Just enter uh, enter the username and follow a standard procedure uh, that is defined uh, for your organization. Uh, so what happens next? So when a password is reset, uh, this password could be synchronized between all linked systems. Uh, so, but uh, what if you are, uh, you are trying to log into your Windows machine or Mac OS machine and so you cannot log in because you don't remember a password. So not being logged inside this uh, machine, you cannot open a web browser and reset your password. So for this use case, OpenAM has a special product, uh, which is called Credential Provider. And uh, what it does, it allows you to open uh, OpenAM reset password page without being logged inside uh, your operation system. So this product is available on Windows versions and uh, Mac OS as well. Uh, so I will show how, how it works. And uh, to begin with, I will log in using RDP to some other machine. Okay. So, um, I'm copying this installer and uh, I would like to mention that uh, I'm currently, uh, if, uh, if you would like to, it could be also deployed using centralized rules uh, that could be defined by your system administrators. So I'm starting the installation process and it is uh, quite simple. Uh, I just clicked it twice. Uh, well, uh, it has a predefined pattern. So starting from OpenAIM version 4.2, uh, it has this address for setting a password. So all you need to do is just replace your domain name with your name. Um, I will set it like demo.openaim.com. And if you are running OpenAIM version uh, earlier than uh, 4.2, you just need to to add HTML here. Um, so you can configure your text that will be used on your login screen. So I will just type test reset password. And we have two options. Always run Microsoft Credential Provider from RDP session. So uh, what does it mean? It, it means that uh, uh, you will not see a login screen if you're logging through the RDP. Uh, so sometimes it is really convenient, uh, but you always will see this, uh, this screen when you are trying to uh, log in physically to your machine. So for this demonstration, I will turn it off. And uh, usually you don't need to turn on permit navigation to other domains that is specified above. So what it means that it will restrict any navigation to other domains that uh, was specified here. So uh, I will keep it unchecked. 
just for demonstration and often and during this demonstration I will change the settings and it will show the impact of this so I'm just pressing next pressing install and that is it so I will uh, just disconnect from this session and I will try to log in again so uh, instead of being logged in I see a login screen and we see a test reset password link so I can press it and open and as you see we see exactly the same web page that we saw in the browser in the browser so you can just uh, you can just type in your uh, username and follow the same procedure and change your password so uh, and as we remember uh, when we uh, open am so we we just opened open am web page for setting a password uh, the password will be automatically synced with different managed system that uh, it is linked with so it will automatically res uh, reset the password inside active directory and consequently you will be able to uh, log in using your password so i have just uh, successfully logged in so uh, what i want to show is uh, how to configure it after the installation it is used using a registry editor and you need to go to HK local machine software open I am uh, and opening open am credential provider and uh, you can just set the same settings that you uh, have seen during the installation process so if we set for example this parameter to uh, to one so it, it was uh, the parameter uh, that allows you uh, to uh, avoid uh, running custom credential providers from RDP session and I will just lo log out and try to log in again So now I I am able to be logged automatically. So we have not seen this login screen like we have seen it before uh, with a reset password. However, if if I would like to log in inside this machine physically, uh, I will of course uh, see this uh, login screen and will be able to reset the password. Uh, so um, you can uninstall it like any other software just go to control panel click uninstall and it is uninstalled so uh, in this video I showed you the general concept of a credential provider and thank you for watching